up guys, Mill Surf Man here again today. You can see behind me, we're at Smoky Mountain Knife Works here in Sevierville, Tennessee. We're gonna check out and see if they have any surplus items. Um, a couple of years ago, they actually used to have quite a few. Uh, not been in a while, so we're gonna see what we can find. And I heard down in the basement, they have some kind of antiques and some vintage helmets, so let's see what we can find. All right guys, sorry for the noise, there's a water by fall behind me, but as, you, as I said earlier, if you come down to the basement here, Smoky Mountain Knife Workers, they have tons of relic items. You can see over there, see some military. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, like I was saying, I have a lot of vintage military items here. Oh, you're fine. At this location. Different things you might not see. You got a Soviet there. Air uniforms. There's a looks like a dummy, some type of MG34 looking thing. Different antiques inside, stuff from the Civil War, Spanish American War. You got trap doors and some Civil War era muskets. And everything in here is for sale. So if you see something you like, maybe in the video. And I think you're pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you have to be here in, in, in location to buy. I don't think you can buy anything online in their antique section. See the German flags. A lot of bayonets. See, World War I drill instructor hat. Very, very cool. Rotate over here, we've got our original German helmet. And behind there. Along with some original German field caps. We got our World War One style ham. And some more original. We actually have a French Adrian helmet there. Really, really neat stuff. Pricey, but I don't think you're going to really find it anywhere else. Get you a good look at that logo there, her decal, I mean, on that German helmet. Very, very cool. As you're moving forward, got just different miscellaneous patches. We've got more knives. Got some stocks in here. That actually looks like a stock for. I can't tell if that's a cut down K98K stock or a G43 stock. I think it's a cut down K98K stock. I just looked at it wrong. She got different bayonets sorted in here. This is pretty cool. They have these you can buy. They're just the fireboard containers for hand grenades and ordnance. It's pretty cool. They have some small items too, like this. This if you're just wanting a cool relic to take home with you. It's not too bad. You have a letter here, a German letter. You have some World War II magazines. They're really cool. I see that's dated September 11, 44. Very neat stuff. Also have some D-milled, decommissioned bayonet handles there. Move along, got some U.S. stuff. Got some USM-1 helmets. Or a USMC Marine Corps helmet. A Navy, there's a shore party, a Navy Corpsman helmet there. Military police. Just very cool stuff you wouldn't normally see. There's a black helmet, 325, not too bad on that. Really good condition. He's got some regular GI helmets. Here's a really clean front seam helmet. Looks like it has some kind of mark in here on the side, and I can't tell. Maybe it used to have a decal with 1911 holster. And this goes on and on. Different field gear. Flags, mess tins, you got different items, Soviets. There's a World War II, or I'm sorry, Viet, Vietnam. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's World War II or Vietnam bomber jacket, but really cool. So you still got more helmets here. Another nice helmet down there. A little bit of Soviet stuff. And then over here we got some World War I German stuff. 
Got a World War One Doughboy helmet. Very cool. And this one's really, really cool. Look at this, guys. Marine Corps Doughboy helmet, along with some bayonets. I forgot to get a view of the top. There's just different stuff laying everywhere up here. A lot of you guys probably know more about this stuff than I do. We got some trench art stuff there. They even have World War II Kriegs Marine jacket on the door there. It's, just, it's scattered out everywhere, so it's hard to get everything on film. I even skipped some stuff over here from the Civil War. It's hard to get everything. We have just everything you think of here. Little War Department manuals for five dollars. That's that's pretty cool. 1941 technical manual. It's five dollars a piece. You have these little signs. I think these are. No, this is actually. It says original. But I'm not for sure myself. It's twelve dollars. Just you just want a little piece of World War II history. They have it here. Um, have some really really nice items. So if you're coming to look for something specific for your collection and you don't care to pay up for it, I mean, it's here. I'm really digging that USMC helmet and the Corman helmet. If I had the funds, I would definitely take those home with me. But I have my funds in mind for something else, so just stay tuned. Okay, guys, I know I have to keep cutting in and out. It's just because I don't know uh, where this stuff's at. It's scattered differently, but we got some more helmets up here. Looks like a Navy helmet, some liners. I actually don't know if those are World War II liners or not. I can't tell. Uh, right here, we got just a painted over Doughboy British helmet, and we've got a Navy Talker helmet, which is really cool. That's a really cool piece of history right there, along with some very old stuff, and old books. Uh, all that's out of my area of expertise. They have it here, along with some Civil War stuff. Got Civil War percussion rifles. We have different flint locks. We have different revolvers here. Very, very neat. Some Japanese stuff up there. Very, very cool. Okay, guys, I'm straightly across from the relic room over here. They have a large selection of firearms. Uh, I'm not recording over there just because I don't want to bug anybody's privacy. They have about any modern firearm you can imagine. Handguns, long guns. I'm kind of over here with their bulk ammo. I just noticed a really good price they had on 9mm. You can see that's 13 dollars in a box. That's the cheapest I've seen in a long time. A variety of other calipers as well. On this side, you got... Looks like some 9mm bulk pack. How many rounds? That thousand rounds for 375. Not too bad. Shock actually still see wolf here after the import down. But they still have several cases of it, so come here and check them out. Alright guys, I just walked out of Smoky Mountains here. They have a lot of different stuff. I didn't really feel comfortable filming on the inside there because I don't want to really avoid people's privacies or anything. But they have a lot of stuff on their first floor. If you like knives and a knife collector, that's really not my thing. I have a few. Um, I did see one U.S. military issue, uh, Victor Knox pocket knife. That's the U.S. government one. I almost picked that up. I feel like I'll wait till we go in the next store and see if I find anything else. So without further ado, I'm going to close out this video, guys. If you like it, keep a or give me a like, subscribe, tell me what you like, and catch you in the next one.